Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manna for your soul. Happy Saturday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement today, uh, something to help you along your way. And today that word is don't avoid the wilderness. Or can I tell you, when you think about the wilderness, you sometimes you think about um, a bad place, a barren place, a tough place, a place where you have to go through, a place where sometimes folks are banished and left out there to, to, to wither and die. Uh, but when you think about the wilderness in the Bible, even though it's tough, it's rough, it's desolate, it is also a, a place of great spiritual benefit. I'm just here to tell you today, don't avoid the wilderness. You know, I'm reminded of, of several people that went into the wilderness and they came out better than they went in. Uh, I'm, I'm reminded of David. David, David as a young man, was anointed to be the next king over Israel. And while he was waiting to be king. God was blessing him and showing him favor. The, the spirit of the Lord was upon him. David was doing exploits. But as David was moving about Saul's kingdom, uh, Saul got jealous of him. And Saul wanted to kill him. And David, David had to go on the run. And David went into the wilderness. And it was in the wilderness that David learned to get even closer to God. It was in the wilderness that David grew and became stronger. It was in the wilderness that David became a leader of men. For David, for David it recruited men unto him, men that were dysfunctional, men, men that were in distress. And David took them and nurtured them and molded them and made them into an army of mighty men, men that would duplicate David, even down to being able to slay giants, just like God did with David. He did with those men. I'm just here to tell you, uh, David learned some things in the wilderness, uh, and he learned enough uh, that he was able to step into his calling and to become the king over Israel. Uh, I'm reminded of, of, of the man Moses in the Bible. Moses, Moses at birth was looked at as a goodly child, but he should have been killed. He should have been killed as a baby because Pharaoh had decreed that all, all the male Hebrew children be killed, but his mother preserved him. He grew up to be, to be a prince in, in, in Pharaoh's court. He was a prince because Pharaoh's daughter had saved his life from the Nile River, and, but Moses was not destined to be a prince because one day Moses saw an Egyptian treating a, a Hebrew man badly and Moses rose up and killed that Egyptian and from that moment on Moses was on the run and where did he run? He ran to the wilderness. Moses entered into the wilderness as a murderer. He stayed on the backside of the desert for 40 years but it was when he was in that wilderness it was when he was in that desert place that God showed himself to Moses strong and mighty uh, in the burning bush and when Moses came to investigate God was able to speak to him and lay out the plans he had for him and to tell him to go back to Egypt because you will be a deliverer of my people. Oh, I'm here to tell you, Moses in the wilderness went into the wilderness as a murderer, but came out as a deliverer of God's people. And Moses was able to, to take the children of Israel, take them out of Egypt, take them all the way through the wilderness to the promised land. I want you to get this. The time that Moses spent in the wilderness it was necessary because you can't lead people where you've never been. Oh, somebody need to get that. Uh, and then I'm, I'm reminded of this. How, how, how about this? How would you like this to be you? How would you like this to be you? It, it is the day of your of your acceptance. It is the day of you getting all these accolades. It is it is the day where the spirit of the Lord opens up in heaven and, and, and the voice and the voice comes down and the spirit comes down upon you. And, and 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 a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And there's a day when everyone all around you can see and recognize who you are and what you are meant to be. And at that very moment the spirit of the Lord tells you to go into the wilderness. That was the life of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, after he was baptized and the spirit fell upon him and the voice from heaven came down and spoke about him, the spirit told him to go into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness for 40 days. And he was in the wilderness for 40 nights. He was in a barren place, a desolate place, all by himself. And at the end of the 40 days, when he was wearied and when he was hungry, here comes the devil to tempt him. And the devil didn't come once or twice, but the devil came three times. But this is where Jesus 
Jesus set the tone for his ministry. Because not only did, did he do the will of the Father and go into the wilderness, but he showed the power of the Father within him as he rebuked the devil, as he stood on the word, and he came forth like pure gold. Oh, I'm here to tell you, Jesus showed us the example of what you can do when you had the word of God in your heart. So you will not sin against God. Oh, somebody needs to get that. Jesus came through the the wilderness with the victory. Oh, I just want to tell somebody today, I understand. When you look at the wilderness, when you look at what and what the wilderness is and, and, and what lies ahead for you in the wilderness. Or who would want to go into the wilderness? But I'm here to tell you, if you want to be all that you can be in God, you're going to need to go through some wilderness experiences. You're going to need to step into the wilderness. You're going to need to trust God. You're going to need to lean on God. There are some things that you need to learn in the wilderness that you can't learn sitting, in the, sitting on the couch. There are some things you need to do in the wilderness that you won't do uh, unless you're faced with those problems, uh, unless you're faced with those situations, uh, unless you're faced in that moment of lack, uh, unless you're faced with that moment where you need a healing, unless you're faced with that moment where you need a word from God to make it through another day. These are the things that happen to you in the wilderness of your life. But, oh, but I'm here to tell you, if God, if God has put you in a wilderness, God has put you in the wilderness to bring you through the wilderness. You better get that. Because if you're in the wilderness, uh, and if you're in the wilderness with God, you're going to come through with the victory. Oh, I want you to be encouraged today. Don't avoid the wilderness. Stop trying to circumvent the wilderness. Stop trying to abort the wilderness experience, uh, but walk on through it. Oh, you may have to cry sometime, but walk on through it. Oh, you might have your head bowed down in sorrow, but walk on through it. You might have to manufacture a praise until a praise wells up in your spirit, but walk on through it. You might have to spend your time in worship and prayer, but walk on through it because the wilderness experience is going to benefit you. You'll be able to lead somebody else through the wilderness. You'll be able to tell them how to get through the wilderness and you'll be able to give God all the glory. Don't avoid the wilderness. The wilderness is good for you when you get done with the wilderness, when you come through the wilderness, when you overcome the wilderness. God will get the glory. Look, you have an awesome day. You have a blessed Saturday. Enjoy your day. Be at rest and peace.